All right, this is how far I got today, third day. Went and bought a big pry bar, working great to get those out. It's mandatory. Don't leave home without it. You need it. I was trying to do with the small one, killed my back. I mean, this thing pries them out with ease, those floorboards. Uh, yeah, so I'm on there. I took out the the heat directional stuff, it's the, this, these brackets that direct the heat to the back. I took that out, getting ready to get these planks out. The last three of them is one, two, three, and that's the rest of them. Then there's the cockpit area. Oh, here's the bus. I, I don't think anybody's heard it start yet, so... Yeah, one of the main things I, I um, looked for when I bought this was a, a solid engine and a solid transmission. I didn't care about the rest of the bus, even though the rest of the bus is in really good condition. But the, this was the most important part. She drives uh, really smooth and she, st she runs really smooth. I mean, she purrs. See, this is the first time it's been started up in two days. So yeah, and she's running. You can barely hear her back here. A little bit of rumbling from the five inch exhaust pipe, but when, um, yeah, it's not bad. It's really quiet. And this is a gasoline engine. I mean, uh, people were telling me to get diesel and, but there's two things for my specific, uh, application. Uh, one, it's just me and a cat that's going to be living in here. It's going to be a wide open floor plan and almost no weight to it. The only thing that's going to be boxed in is the full bathroom and shower. Other than that, it's going to, everything else is going to be lightweight. And most of this area up here is going to be, there's going to be a wood burning stove. And then all of this is gonna be like an open floor plan with all hardwood floors, maybe a lightweight couch. And then all that area over there is gonna be a kitchen, a refrigerator, a small sink, and then a small, like a twin, twin bed in the back. But none of this is gonna be walled in. I'm trying to keep weight down a lot. That's one, that's one reason um, I want gasoline because it's better for the highways coasting. Uh, Diesel is good for like stop and go and hauling heavy things at, with a lot of torque. And, you know, that's, that's good for most of these applications where people are having the 40 inch long buses and they're putting three rows of bunk beds and granite countertops and all that stuff. Then that's, a, that's a, you know, something you wanna look into. But me, my bus is gonna be super light. And number two, I'm a, I'm a mechanic on regular engines. So I wanna be able to know 100% how this, this um, engine operates because a gasoline engine, I can take them down to the nuts and bolts and put them back together. And there's really nothing on any engine that I can't figure out on a, on a gasoline engine. Diesel, I don't have that much experience with. So me personally, it has to be gasoline. I mean, some people might say, oh, well, if you know gasoline, you can work on diesel. That's something I'm not willing to, to learn while I'm on the road with my house. Right now, if I'm driving a car and it's gasoline and something happens on the road, which knock on wood, it won't because I'm a mechanic and I, you know, try absolute my, my best to keep everything, you know, up to par. When I drive any of my cars, I know what, what's what and what's on its way out and what's running solid and what needs work. So I've never been stranded in a car in my life for engine problems. So that's, that's the main reason I wanted gasoline. But uh, yeah, she runs beautifully. It's got a little high idle when you start it up in the morning. So you watch the RPMs, you push this button, it idles higher for when you're trying to warm the bus up. That's for the morning time. drops back down when I press that. Everything on the panel works. I had that panel off going in, cleaning out any dust and lint balls behind there just, just to prevent from any sparks or fires or anything when I'm grinding. So I had this all off. I 
cleaned it. It was dirty back there. Um, everything works, all the heat, everything is good to go. Yeah, all the heat works. Dome lights, if you pull the dome lights, it's got all the dome lights up there. Um, pull this dome light, it's got this light and the step light down there. It's got a uh, heat to the rear or whatever. It's got all these different heater fan settings and it's got these things which are silent and they, they're fast, so I'm gonna keep those in there. It's the tape player, AM, FM radio works. It's got speakers all on the ceiling, force one, two, three, four. I'm gonna keep all of that. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, obviously not gonna keep that. I'm gonna put a, um, like a, one of those pioneer fold out screens that has navigation and everything on there. That'll be it's perfect area. If you just push the button, it'll come out and it'll flip up. I'll have the navigation on there. Uh, I'm gonna clean all this up, prime everything, paint it. It's gonna get a fresh coat of paint. Don't know what color I'm gonna do yet. Um, all this floor, this is all coming out. I'm gonna put steel plates in there after everything's out and fully painted and converted. And the seat's gonna go, I'm gonna get a uh, official um, tractor trailer, trucker air ride seat type deal. Don't know which one yet. I still haven't even looked into it, but that's what's going to go in there. Um, everything's coming out. All the stairs are coming out. It's going to be all hardwood floors in there. But yep, that's it. That's day three. So tomorrow I'm going to be out here. Hopefully I get all this out. Got to take these out. I was going to, I didn't take them out when I did the seats because I was still thinking, eh, I might keep those in there. But the fact of the matter is I knew the whole time that they have to come out because I got to get the floor out. But uh, yeah, so that's gonna come out tomorrow. This is gonna come out tomorrow. Maybe even the passenger seat will come out tomorrow. Then I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna have this up today. And then, so it's basically this section tomorrow. All of this is gonna come out. And then after that, the day, that'll be day four. And then day five, we'll be sweeping, converting rust, grinding things. And then uh, day six, we'll be um, getting a nice coat of enamel on the floor, some, some good protection on the floor. Just uh, there's just the first coat, and then uh, start on the walls. All of I did, the reason I didn't start this yet is because all of this has to get ground out, and I'm still debating on what I want to do. They're all rivets, obviously. It's a it's a bluebird, so everything is riveted, even the ceilings. Every single nut and bolt on here is riveted, which is going to be a nightmare which is why I'm not even doing the ceiling right now. I'm actually gonna do the floor insulated, do the walls insulated, uh, block out whatever, a couple windows. I'm not gonna block out a lot of windows, but I'm gonna block out whatever I'm gonna block out and then caulk and seal all the rest. And then once that's done, I'm gonna, it's, dead, it's the dead of winter right now. And this is New Jersey. So, you know, February in New Jersey is the coldest time of year. And right now this bus is warm and it hasn't been even running. I mean, so I'm gonna see how it is with the floor and then the walls, and then I'm gonna debate what I'm gonna do with the top. I either might leave it how it is right now, or I might probably do what I always do and get to the point where this is all done and say, nope, that's gotta go, but we'll see, a couple days. I don't plan on being anywhere like Alaska or anything. So, I mean, I don't know, I'm still debating. It's probably gonna have to come out. I'm not gonna go all this far and then not do that. I mean, the rivets are really killing me though. Those things are a pain in the ass. All right, that's it. See you later.